Hey everybody, Soybean Farmer, June 1st. It don't look all that bad up at this end of the field, but the other end wrapped up with uh, morning glory. This open end down here that I didn't plant, as you can see right there, it's wrapped up with it. But I'll just take a disc of that. These chemicals are way too expensive this year. They sure jacked the price up on that. Somebody's making a fortune. Uh, trying to figure out how much I want to spray on the edge of that field. Right now, I've probably got about a foot, so we have to move over a row. But the first pass is real important. So I'm just going to kind of put the camera down to see if I can get that uh, dialed in correctly. Be back in a little while. All right, what I was going to show you here, there's been some conversation and another video about the drive down and there you can see where that tractor tire went and you can see where that one went and what i've learned through the years don't watch it while it's happening these uh plants are nine ten eight inches tall it varies because of the inconsistent planting depth and they haven't all got out of it yet or, or equaled up yet. I'm hoping this application will help that out because I've got some fertilizer mixed in. But down here this end, this just wrapped up with all sorts of things we don't want. All right, let's take a ride back to the other end. Love this sprayer. 30 foot boom lets you get over something pretty quick. Not so much on these odd shaped fields though. And whatever you are, get off of me. Well, that's wrapped up in there. All right, let's roll. All right, I gotta move over one row off one. Just finished that other two acre field and moved right on over into this two acre field. This field's really annoying to spray because it's it's not square. It's got a rounded side, narrow end, wide end, and then it's got this horrible slope on it. So I was fighting trying to get the boom to line up correctly, but it didn't want to cooperate. And then the tragedy occurred I mentioned that I had had issues with the lift on this tractor not wanting to lift and all of a sudden it decided to uh, drop the boom into the dirt. Right here I'm holding the camera on steering wheels. I'm trying to get the boom back up with the uh, hydraulic control and I should have just stopped the tractor because I ended up destroying a sprayer tip and dragging up a few bean plants too. So that's where I got shut down on uh, Wednesday. Hey everybody, Soybean Farmer. Uh, June 2nd, spraying beans again. Got the rig out. We're over here this morning on Cousin's Beans and they should have been sprayed about a week ago, but we had rain ground was wet. Big mistake spraying beans on wet ground. Huge mistake. These beans are, hmm, you're going to see some drive down on this. They're 12, 13, some might be 14 inches tall. They'll stand back up, but it is a thick weed patch out there. Uh, this over here mostly grass. Uh, step on out here and see what we got. Uh, lamb's quarter. Lamb's quarter seems to be the dominant thing. Oh, there's our ever so hated right there. Stinking water hemp, pigweed, palma amaranth. Uh, super tough to kill. 
this right here, if I've got, I've got tank mixed uh, a little hot because I knew this, these weeds were on a little further. This going to be, come back in three, four days and this is going to show a really nice kill. And some tall stuff over there may end up just having to come snatch that up by hand. But I got what I think is three and a half, about three and a half acres here. So, let's uh, go back over there and get started. This comes out. Uh, 
hot. Bottle. Turn around. 